So we're going to be creating two functions. The first function is going to be generating a dynamic spreadsheet with some data. So we're going to be setting up the cell values and incrementing those, and then also the rows and the column values and outputting them. So creating a spreadsheet with three columns and five rows and populating the data as we're incrementing through the various loops that are generating the data that's going to be added into the spreadsheet. We're also going to be looking at how we can create a folder and add a file into a newly created folder, selecting the folder by its ID or the folder object, creating a new folder, and then moving the file of the spreadsheet into the folder. The second function that's going to be covered in this lesson is going to be how if you already have the data within an array format, how you can create it and create a brand new spreadsheet with the data. Go over to google.com forward slash script forward slash start and from there you can select start scripting. This will open up the Google Apps Script panel where you can select to create a new project. A new project will open up the Apps Script editor with the default function my function. Within the my function, let's rename it, call it maker1 as we're going to be making a spreadsheet. And then we're going to create a brand new sheet object using the spreadsheet app class and then create, and the create method allows us to create a sheet. Within the create method, we can specify the sheet name that we wanna create, as well as the size and dimensions of the sheet. So we're gonna be generating a new sheet, and the number of rows that we're gonna be setting up for this sheet are gonna be five rows and three columns. Function will create a sheet object, and now let's add some content into the sheet going to do this with a for loop. So looping, starting, setting value of i to zero. And then we're going to be incrementing i by one. So looping through while i is less than five. So these are going to be the rows that we're creating. So let's actually update this and I'll call the variable as row instead of i. So we're going to be creating five rows that's going to match the dimensions of the sheet. And then we're also going to be creating the five columns. This is also array based, then we're adding in content into the sheet. So we want to structure it and build out the array. And then that array can then be added and appended to the sheet as a row. So we want to create an array of values. So this is going to be setting up the columns. So columns and setting the different columns. And while columns is less than three, because we do have the three columns there within the application project. And here we want to construct an array. So within the parent, set up a holder array. And this is what we're going to be using in order to construct the row array of contents. And then within the array, we can add in items into the array. And we'll set the values of the items. So using the backticks or the template literals will allow us to bring in the variable value and I'm going to set this up as call plus one and we'll name it column and then I'm also going to have a variable that's going to count the cells so starting at one and then we'll add in the value of the cell and these are what's going to be set within the values so setting up the cell and using the same way where we're going to bring in the cell value so we're starting at one so every time we add a new cell, we'll increment cell plus one, and that will give us an incrementing value of the cells. So this is what's going to be contained within each one of the rows. We've added it into holder. And now for holder, we want to append the new row of data. So selecting the sheet object and then using a pend row, we'll add the row of data into the sheet and the contents of the row are going to be contained within the holder array. And that's the one that we just constructed as we were looping through the different numbers of columns. So we're adding to the holder array and let's save that. And we're going to run the, the function. So we're running maker one in order to create a spreadsheet directly within our drive. We're going to have to accept permissions because this is the first time that we are running the application. So the Google Apps script has to accept permissions to access the user's drive and the user is going to be the one that I've logged into on this account. So I'm selecting my account, selecting under advanced and then going over to the project and it will give you the permissions that are being set. 
give you the project name that you're using, and this is going to correspond with the app script project name. So I've got example project, and then example project is mentioned. If you want to remove your permissions, you can go to the myaccount.google.com forward slash permissions or click the link here if you ever want to remove permissions that you've provided for your various accounts. And then once you've read through this and you're okay, hit allow, and this will allow the Google Apps script to act as the account holder and run the code and create the script. It's also going to send you a security alert into your inbox for your account. And then going over to Drive, there's the new spreadsheet that we just created. Let's check out what's contained within the spreadsheet. So there's our columns. So we've got the three columns, we've got the five rows. So starting at cell number one and generating cell number two and column number two. So we've populated it all with the cell information and then also with the column values. We can also include the row values. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a second sheet. And this one, we're going to also include the row values. And the row values are going to be contained under the variable row. So once again, using the template literals, and this will allow us to add in the row as we're iterating through. So if you want to get the name of the sheet and the URL of the sheet, you can do that as well. I'm going to output it within the log. So we're going to get the sheet. And once you have the sheet within an object, you can get the URL. You can also get various values for the sheet. So the one that we want to get, so we've got the ID there. We've got the sheet. And the one that we're looking for is the get URL. So this will return back the URL value of the sheet that's just been created. You can also add the sheet into a drive folder. So I'm going to go over to the drive creating a brand new folder, and I'll just call that new folder. So if you have a particular folder where you want to add the newly created spreadsheet in, then you can add the folder. You can also create a folder within Google Apps Script, and then selecting the folder by its unique ID, and the ID value of the folder, the easiest way is to go into the drive and go up to the URL, and for past the forward slash folders slash, that's going to be the unique ID of the folder. So you can use that as the ID within the script in order to select that folder to add the spreadsheet into it. And then using the folder and the drive app service, we're going to get the folder by ID. And that's going to be the ID of the folder. The sheet as well is going to have an ID. So let's capture the sheet ID. Just as we're getting the URL, we can also get the sheet ID. And that's going to return back the ID of the sheet. So we need to get the file that we've just created into an object that then we can use. So setting up the file. And once again, using the Drive app, get the file by ID. And we've got the sheet ID that we just got from the newly created spreadsheet. And now we can take the file and use the move to method and move it into the folder. So let's run the code and we're going to create a new sheet. And this one's going to be named new sheet one. And it's also going to include the row information. So run the code. We need to accept permissions because we've added in the folder options in order to select it and use the drive app. And this will indicate the new permissions that are being requested for the Google Apps script to run the script code, selecting allow will allow it to run and complete the execution of the script. This time we are also logging out the sheet URL. So there's the Google spreadsheet URL. You can take that and you can copy it into the web browser and then output the contents. And this is going to be the new sheet that we've just created. This one also is including the row values. So we started out at row zero. Uh, you can also update this to be row plus one. So that will actually give you the row value. And then going into the drive, that new sheet has now been deposited into the new folder. So that's where the sheet, instead of being created on the root drive, we took the sheet as it was created, and then we moved it into the new folder and added the sheet into the folder. So that's how you can select the sheet object that's just been created and then add that into the folder using a specific folder. And you can also create a new folder as well and then creating a new folder on the root drive. So you can copy and remove that. Instead of creating the folder object, we're going to 
create a new folder and using the drive app create folder method and we want to return back the folder object so this is the name of the new folder I'll just call it new one and it's already going to be within an object format so we don't have to select the object I'm going to give it a new name for sheet two and run the code one more time so this time it's creating a folder that it's going to add the file into so going back to the root drive there's our new folder that was just created and there's the new sheet sitting within the new folder with the updated content that we've generated using Google Apps Script. So Google Apps Script provides us a powerful way in order to create sheets. Let's create another function. I'm going to call this one function maker2. And this is going to be a more simpler format in order to create a spreadsheet. And we're going to hard code the data that we're going to be creating. So just as we did where we were creating the sheet and the sheet object, we can set the parameters to create the sheet. And this is going to be the data sheet. So just call it data. And then depending on the number of rows of content that we want and the number of columns, we can have different varyings for the size of the array. And then we can also take the sheet and using the append row, hard code the row data. And this is expecting an ar array format. So the first cell and then the comma separating out the second cell. So this is just an array where we're going to have the data. We want to create three rows with two columns each. So that means that we'll add that in three times there, setting up a value of three, four, and then five and six for the last row. And this will automatically populate the rows and create the sheet out of it. So running maker two is going to generate a new spreadsheet called data on the root drive. And you can open that up and see that we've created a sheet with two columns and three rows of data using the arrays for the row data.